star over there? Oh. On to Loser Semis, the Dolphin Slash out of Shield. Yeah, he's Rangers definitely a... the first damage for Valad. And now the throw. <laughs> do a bit more. Consistent. That's why he dropped him. Dancing Glaive is <laughs> back off stage. Illusion's back, but jumps off into the Nair and now has to be careful. This is the ledge with that Illusion. So had to expend the Firefox. Yep, there's a board smash. Gonna catch that up the easy. Beautifully timed from Valadin, only 30 or so percent taken, and he's going to immediately gross. have a bit of a way into this game. Mm -hmm. That was... He, man, why is that a thing, though? <laughs> it just reaches so much farther than it looks, especially at ledge. Yeah, like, and it's so... It like, Man, like, this, that makes this matchup so bad sometimes, I can imagine. How many other sorties just have F-tilt as like an edge or a ledge trap in two? Oh man, just up being, just getting him off stage. Like man, Fox cannot deal with this being off stage stuff because uh, oh no, yeah, and Fox, let him off the ledge. He too. Fox there? is no. reduced weight, got almost killed, and you could see these red sparks are coming out of nearly everything Valadin's throwing up. But oh no, you missed the tech. This is not where he wants to be. Oh, trying to go for a pistol. That would have been cool. Sit back though. Yep. Zerok. No, no grab there, but the up tilt. That's gonna catch him. That's gonna take out the stock. Line, absolutely shuffling through him. Yep, and ba Dancing Blade. Actually, negative on hit. But that one won't be. Uh, getting uh, Zerok off stage, and that's kind of been the name of this game. How is Zerok going to play if he can't play neutral? Yeah, but Latin's not even at kill percent yet. Like, almost a, a back air at ledge might do it, and almost nothing else will have to up smash. But. Oh, there's the bear. Uh, this is... He's now in Nair up smash percent, though. Or Dare up smash percent. Oh, there we go. Nair up smash. There we go. <laughs> as you said. <laughs> yeah, as soon as like they get to like that 100, 115 percent, that, that's when you that's when you want that Nair. Good angle on the Firefox to avoid that Dare from Valadin, but Zerak is going to have an up tilt. Or up Three air strength. up bears in a row. Fox, <laughs> Fox players, everybody. Climb up the ladder. We're taking you on a journey. Oh, <laughs> he wanted he to be into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's shooting the crowd. Does not want people to <laughs> watch this match. Watch out, bro F. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. No Nair. Oh, miss out on that one. This is uh, this is the Xerox opportunity. How is he going to do? Capitalize on it? No, nope. Valadin shoes him away again. Out of the startup flag that that illusion does have. And when you're on stage, it's a bit predictable. Back throw. Oh, trying to catch that neutral get up with the forward smash, but missed out. And there's the upper. That's going to be the stock game one going to Valadin. Convincing game one at that. You can tell he just had the momentum from start to finish. Absolutely steamrolled through Zurak. And now uh, Zurak going to have to find a way so that he could... Uh, he needs to not get hit like off stage because that's going to be... He, he gets put into some situations when he's right. stuck on that ledge. Probably what's a, maybe even a bigger stage, oddly enough. Yeah. Even though Fox is eight big stages. Uh, going back to PS2. Right. So this is, you know, the side platforms might be made use of by both characters. Zurak to extend his combos and the lot to start his, but when you're already just into this what good are, you know, combo extenders if you can't even get them going? Uh, like, as soon as he does, like, hit him, like, that, that's going to be the issue. But, right. Like, but he's off stage most of the time. Well, that's the thing. You can't really get him into that condition if you can't even get the combo started. Yeah, but look at this. Speaking of being stuck at the ledge, Zurok downing, um, kind of messing with the Valadin right now. Downing him down, but going to the air, out of the range of that, and the air dodge will put him back into safety. Oh, and they're sna slashing him away, too. Ooh, Zerok now has an opportunity where he can just play a little bit. He's playing a bit more back so he doesn't, so that he can like kind of read Vladin's options. Oh, this is with the F smash. Oh, there's jab block. Oh no, he couldn't go for the down smash after. But there's the bear. And uh, oh, another bear. I feel like 50% of this matchup is just in one of the two edge guarding the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, like. More like Vladin edge guarding and then Zerok ledge trapping. Pretty much. The back air 
from center stage won't do it, but... Up smash, up nice stuff coming in from Zura. Yeah, read the roll there, and with the up smash, an easy punish, and the extent of that leg, it has a lot more horizontal reach than it first seems, like the animation might suggest. Oh, there's the up B out of shield, yet again coming in from Vlad, trying to two-frame with the forward smash, getting Zurak off stage yet again. Bear, oh, good angle coming from Zurak. Man, just getting that maximum uh, distance from the up B. Two lasers will get that extra chip damage, but will have nowhere near 20%. Forward tilts, not really working out. Zurak trying to hit him with the bear. And now uh, Vlad and getting him disadvantage, but Zurak being able to play the game and breathe. Nice illusion to get himself out. Not going to die from that bear. He's at 159, though. The downside of that illusion, of course, is that it put Vladin in the exact right position to get him punished. The back air won't kill, but the up tilt will. Mm -hmm. Nair's coming in from Zurak. What's he going to do? Oh, man. Actually, that was a interesting option coming in from Vladin. He hit him with two. He thought he was shielding it, but... He after he hit him with the second one, was like, ah, was, you know, continue with something else. Perhaps he was unsure of whether he just might have fallen out of it. And I don't know what punish Fox can get when the third and fourth hits will still be out. Perhaps a couple of lasers, but nothing too, you know, nothing too impactful. Down throw to try to put him in a situation where he could catch landing. So we only see the first two hits of Dancing Blade connect. Aladdin getting him off stage. Up till up there. This is what Foxes love. Their opponents above them. Oh, interesting option. Oh, Vladim barely missing out on that dare. Oh, there's the Nair. That's going to catch when we should get up for sure. Zurich has been angling some of these Firefoxes just in and towards the stage every time because he does not want to fall victim to perhaps a back air or a down air off stage. Knows that Vladim can just drop down at any moment and almost throw something out entirely safely. <laughs> or counter it. I haven't seen Vladin go for a counter on these uppies either. Well, that is an option that could happen. Oh, and getting him with another forward tilt. Um, and Vladin realizing this is where he wants he wants Zurak off stage, hitting like the, he's not doing like anything like too crazy. He's just kind of swiping him away, getting him in, off off into the ledge, and then just keeping him there. Yeah, but with the, a bit of rage, Zurak will kill with the up air, and now all of a sudden we are in last stock. This is a bit dangerous. Yeah, but Vladin still having him stuck on the ledge, and now he, Zurok trying to find his way back to the center, stuck in the shield. And as Vance was saying the last time these two played, Vladin could go for, uh, like, Zurok has been playing a bit scared. He could go for a neutral B, and try to poke that shield out, and try to get the shield break. But there's the up B, that's going to take out game number two. Yep, that Dolphin Slash out of shield, frame five, just so fast and almost unpunishable if you're already in the air as Zurak was. It's also frame one through four, invincible. Right. Because... <laughs> I'll have to talk to Sakurai about that one. Yeah, because uh, they needed it, you know. Does Lucina really, really need that? She's, she's enough tool. She's more than enough. Who knows? It's in the game. It's there. Three, and uh, you just have to talk about one, it. Go. Now we are in Kalos. And this is a bit of an interesting stage because if you thought Zorak was angling his recoveries into the stage beforehand, he'll definitely do it now with no zero chance of pineapple in himself. <sighs> but that's the issue. I don't like that in this stage because now Valadin has, he doesn't have to worry about uh, Zurak being in, right? He has, now he has, Zurak's just going completely straight up. Right. And now Valadin could find uh, uh, more, much more ways of like being able to catch those lower recoveries. Exactly. And this stage is- And like right here. See, now that's a lot easier because Zurak can't really touch the stage as much anymore. The range of the air. I'm not quite sure because this stage has a fairly large ceiling as well, so an up air won't necessarily kill off at the top as early. Yeah, but that's where Fox kills. <laughs> that's where Fox gets most of his kill pressure off the top. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why did you know this stage might not necessarily be the best kind of uh, against it? Oh, but nice tech though. Yo, oh, may may maybe that's why he likes the stage. <laughs> yeah, moments after that life-saving tech, the F tilt will seal it out. It's almost just for not there. He's like, get the cool tech. Nothing. Well, he got the immediate stock after though. Yeah, with the health of the ledge trump, makes it back, and the back air will do it. 
Fox has potent kill power within those boots. Getting him with a grab. Down tilt. Man, Zerok now pressuring him. Nice up tilts coming in from him, though. And now uh, this is a very much even game. It's more of a, who could get the other person off stage first. Exactly. Well said. The Dancing Blade will put him at 38%. Within the range of a few fair or low combos, there's a couple of things that unlock at around 40% or so. Dancing Blade's getting Zerok off stage yet again. And this is not where Zerok wants to be. We've seen this plenty of time before. Not a frustrated rollback, but another back throw will put him right back where he has been. Oh, that, that's the tech situation that Zerok wanted. Could have probably caught him, but he was a little late on the dash. A bit late on the back air or down air option that he could gone for. Otherwise, Ooh, good tech nice in the stage. Again. Yo, Zerok's techs are on point. They really are. He just has that finger on the shoulder button 100% of the time. Oh, that's not the, That's not what he wanted. Oh, that was nope, not really a great punish. Exactly. Zerok has to be thanking his lucky stars, but there wasn't perhaps a harder punish coming out there. Oh, there's the Nair. That's going to take out his stock. Up air? No, not going not gonna to do much. Laden is in the triple digits, so has to be careful. Fox could easily get a kill. Perhaps a back air or a near to up smash. As you see right there, tumbling through the platform and tumbling off the top, Voladin is going to be sent to his last off. Yeah, dude, that, uh, that up smash scooped him from way down there. That leg just swinging in, getting him. Yeah, and uh, now Voladin hitting him back and forth. Trying to get him off stage. Up, be out of shield. Oh, yo, yo, yo. That dare into up tilt. I like that. I, that was uh, that was interesting because, like, you don't really see yourself, like, putting yourself and getting stuck in that restand. And now, this is not, you do not want to be stuck on that platform as anyone against Fox. That, the bear pressure from him is pretty monstrous. Yeah, Zurich has already turned the tides here. Gets the Latin up Oh, there's a shield break. He's been holding that card all day and there we go the full shield breaker and that's gonna be it Vladin taking the 3-0 against Zurak. gets rid of the invader gonna send him home in fourth place throws his head back there just knew he was inches away from dying but mm -hmm. clutch shield breaker I think it's the first time he attempted the shield breaker the entire set and yeah, that's actually the first shield breaker he pulled out from on stream well, if he's going to be one for one, that's a great time to do so. Yeah, and uh, now Vladin going to have to play against um, Sugar. Yeah. Oh, no. Poor Sugar. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> the Twitter is still off. 